Hey family, it's Tracy. I'm back for vlog number four. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I decided to start making some vlogs periodically to pass on to my children, who can pass on to their children, and so on and so forth. So this is my fourth one, or at least I think it's my fourth one. Um, and it's been a while. Um, my previous vlogs, I kind of talked about my family history, family tree, um, my grandmother and grandfather and great grandmother and my own mother. And I'll probably revisit those again in the future. Um, but what I wanted to do for this blog, I just really wanted to make a quick blog um, and talk about just some thoughts I wanted to share with the future generations um, that come after me. Um, and the one thing I kept coming back to when I thought about this was really what I really wanted the future generations, my descendants, to take away and what you know what I want them to know is I really really want you to know your worth and when I so say know your worth I mean know how valuable you are as a human being know how valuable you are as a person know that you are unique and special and that God put you here on this earth for a reason and that no matter what anyone 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 says to you that you are worth something, that you are worth more than anything. Um, you know, I, I think about when I look around at some of the people I've crossed paths with in my life and some of the people I see today and some of the people I see that are so lost and so stuck in certain things it all comes down to them not knowing the, their worth. It comes down to them believing the things that other people have told them and said to them. It comes down to them experiencing things in their lives and not being able to get beyond them and letting those things dictate who they are and the decisions that they've made in their lives to keep them from being the best version of them that they can be. And what I want to stress to you is to not let that happen to you. Um, to know that, you know, regardless of what happens to you in your life, or regardless of, you know, what anybody says to you, if you hear that, you know, you will never be anything, if you hear that um, you're worthless or you're just like so-and-so or, or things, don't believe that. Never, ever believe that, you know. Um Sometimes we beat ourselves up so much, keep ourselves so far down that we can't see a way up. Um, you know, and unfortunately, that keeps us from being who we were meant to be. I think that, you know, sometimes we make decisions in life and we go down a path. And we get so far down that path that we're afraid to turn back. We're afraid that if we do, we failed or we're a failure or, or, you know, something like that. And what I really want you to know that you are never a failure unless you fall down and you never get up. You are never a failure unless you keep running into a brick wall knowing that you're going to have the same result every single time. Um, no matter how far you are down on a path, you can always turn and go back and choose another path. You are not perfect. You are going to make mistakes throughout your life. We all do, we all are We're going to, to the day we die. Um, but never believe that those mistakes make you have to continue to live or be in a situation that you don't wanna be in or be a person that you don't wanna be, you know? I think that, you know, sometimes we have to find the strength to say, hey, you know, this is not where we need to be. Um, and sometimes that means leaving a situation. And we may not even know where we're going or how we're doing it, but we know that this situation we're in is toxic and it's it's killing, killing us emotionally. Um, 
it's it's draining the life of, out of us you know we have I call you know emotional vampires in our lives we have people in our life that are constantly sucking us dry um, you know hurting us whether it's physically emotionally mentally whatever it's never too late to change that you know you deserve better and you have to believe that and until you do that situation is never going to change um, what I stress that is if you don't have the energy to make those choices or make those changes in your life yourself, then you find that energy elsewhere. Sometimes that means, you know, turning to someone, asking for help, whether it's a friend, you know, a counselor, whether it's a pastor, a priest, whoever, you know, sometimes you have to do that because, you know, in all honesty, you know, sometimes we all hit a point in our life where, we just don't know where to go or how to make that change. And that's okay. But you have to do that if you want your situation to be different. So many times I think that people are so quick to push things off to God. You know, oh, God will fix it. I'll turn it over to God. God will make things better. You know, and that's okay to believe that. But God is not going to do it all for you. You have to do it yourself. You know, sometimes God sends the answer right in front of you and you choose to look the other way. And you have to find the strength to look at that answer no matter how hard that choice is or how hard that decision is and take a step toward that. You know, God is not always going to make things easy for you or, you know, or make those changes for you. You know, and I think you have to understand that, you know, we, you sit there and you say, you know, I want to be happy, but yet you put yourself in a situation with someone who, you know, is abusing you or who's constantly putting you down or, you know, you want to be, I want to be successful. I want to have this, but yet you make a decision to go out and do something, you know, that isn't right, you know, and you have to find the strength to say, okay, you know, okay, yes, I did that. I, you know, um, I have to love myself to change that circumstance. And um, that's really what I want you to know is that you, you have to know your worth. You know, you don't settle for less than what you deserve. You know, and it's not going to be hard. It's, it's going to be a struggle. But if you truly want to be a better version of you, of you or the best version you can be, you have to make those hard decisions. And you have to love yourself enough to do it. Because if you don't love yourself enough, then you're not going to be good to anyone else. And sometimes I know it's hard to find the strength to love yourself enough. But, you know, you have to, you have to find a way. And sometimes, you know, for those of you who have children, sometimes it's just looking into those children's eyes and knowing that they trust you and they love you no matter what and they believe in you to find the strip to make those changes in your life. Um, you know, I, I think about my own life and from the time I was a kid to growing up into my young adulthood. And there were times when, you know, I didn't feel good. You know, I, I feel like I deserved to be happy. I didn't feel like I was good enough, you know, and that kept me from being who I needed, who I could be soon enough, you know, early enough in my life. Um, that kept me, you know, my self-esteem down and, and I distanced myself from others and I, I, I because I felt that way. Um, that's how I handle it. Handled it. Everybody else handles it differently. Um, but um, you know, what I learned in my life is that I am deserving, and that I can't let somebody else's shortcomings determine who I am. I have to love myself enough to do what's best for me, and and be who I need to be. And sometimes that means cutting certain people out of your life. Sometimes that means, you know, just saying enough, enough. I, I'm not going to settle for this. I'm not going to accept this anymore, whether it's from others or from myself. Um, 
and making those choices. So, you know, I guess to my descendants, what I want to say is that love yourself, believe in yourself, and and be the best you that you can be. And you know, whether you need you have the energy to do it yourself, or you find the energy from getting help from someone, or or lo your your loved ones, or things like that, you do what you need to do. Um, and that's really all I wanted to say. I, you know, I hope that you understand what I'm trying to say. I hope that you love yourself enough to know that you deserve to be happy, and and you make those choices in your life and those changes in your life, and know that you know you are not a failure no matter what has occurred in your life up to this point, because you're still living. And you still can make changes and you can still make different choices and better choices. So with that and a little over 11 minutes, I am going to sum up this blog um, and end it and say um, until next time. And hopefully, you know, you get something from what I said. Um, and if no one else tells you today that they love you, know that I love you, know that God loves you, and know that it's so important to love yourself. So with that, good night. The end. Time for me to get ready for bed and get ready for work tomorrow. So um, until we meet again and I think of something else that I want to be still upon, knowledge that you probably already know, but maybe sometimes it helps to hear from somebody else. Um, good night and take care. Bye.